I got rid of that intro sound that was universally hated by everyone. <laughs> so breathe easy. I'm not sure what I'm going to replace it with yet. So for now, I'll just talk over my intro. Anyway, on to this news here. Anthony Yard slash Frank Warren have pulled out of their scheduled purse bid for the light heavyweight British title eliminator against Jose Burton. Anthony Yard will instead face a man named Ryan Ford on September 16th at the Copper Box Arena in London. Ryan Ford. In the words of Conor McGregor, who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> who is Ryan Ford? All right. Ryan Ford is a 12-0 with seven KOs, undefeated, light heavyweight prospect from Canada. He's a former MMA fighter who, as far as I can find, in terms of the research that I've done on the guy, has turned to boxing very late. Yeah, he's 35 years old. He turned to boxing. Well, he had his first professional fight in 2010, but then he didn't fight again until 2015 in a boxing match. So really, you might as well say he's been boxing since 2015. Uh, he was simultaneously doing MMA and boxing at least up until, I think, 2014. And he does have a pretty extensive MMA background. You can go to his Wikipedia page and he's had a lot of MMA fights. So he is a legit MMA fighter. He fought in Bellator and whatnot. So that's a decent level for MMA. So yeah, that's who he is. 12 and 0. He's, as I say, 35 years old, 5'11", from Canada. All but one of his, no, all but two, sorry, three. All but three of his fights have been in Canada so far. He has had two fights in Singapore and one fight in Thailand. We're talking about boxing matches here, not his MMA fights. Uh, I've watched a couple of his fights on YouTube. There's not really much. And the earlier fights of his, you could really tell that he's an MMA guy because he's not punching correctly, not sitting down on his shots. He is holding and hitting a lot as well. He will, he will try and hold you with a left hand club you with the right hand but his most recent fight which I saw he looked like he'd actually improved his punching technique had improved and you know he looked a lot better I do think this is a step up for Anthony Yard over his last opponent Barangi but that's not saying much in a recent AFL interview when Eddie Hearn was asked to comment about Anthony Yard and his last opponent Eddie Hearn said to Coogan you could have beaten that last guy that Anthony Yard fought. And I'm not even joking. And to be honest with you, when he said that, I actually had to pause for a minute and think, could Coogan actually beat that? That's how bad the guy was that Anthony Yard fought in his last fight. Because I'm not even sure if he could beat Coogan, <laughs> Coogan Cassius in a fight. <laughs> that guy was terrible. God knows where they found him. This guy, Ryan Ford, certainly appears to be better than him. But again, he's been plucked from obscurity with a good record, just like Yard's last opponent, but really no credentials. He's fought nobody that you've ever heard of and he's done nothing. Uh, but he does appear to be a real fighter. Not necessarily a real boxer, but a real fighter because he's got this MMA background and he was very serious. He's in shape. He looks strong. He looks like a fighter, unlike Barangi, who looks like God knows what. No disrespect to the guy, but he don't look like a fighter. Ryan Ford actually looks like a fighter. He's in shape. He His body language and everything, his demeanor is that of a fighter. So you'd have to imagine he's going to come with a lot of ambition and he's going to try and stick it on Anthony Yard. I'm sure he's going to do his research. You, you don't, have, don't have to do too much research to realize that Anthony Yard didn't have an extensive amateur career. So this guy will probably take a lot of heart from that and say, okay, well, really and truly, even though I'm coming from an MMA background, this guy don't have that much more experience than me. He only had like 10, 12 amateur fights and he's only had the same amount of pro fights. So I'm not in there with somebody that's vastly more experienced than me. And that may be true, but when you look at the technique of the two men, it's night and day. Anthony Yard looks way more technically advanced than Ryan Ford. 
Ryan Ford is trying to make the transition from MMA because he's been doing MMA for many, many, many years. And in terms of his guard, his stance, the way he throws his shots, it's improving, but you can still see the MMA in him. And the MMA technique for throwing shots is really not particularly suited for boxing. Their guards don't tend to be as tight because they have to stay on alert for kicks and whatnot and they have to keep their hands free enough to be able to block takedowns and all that kind of thing. So, yeah, Ryan Ford is the guy that Anthony Yard will face next. Now, Fish Eyes said, correct me if I'm wrong here, and I don't want Fish Eyes to sue me, so let me not put words in his mouth and claim he said something that he didn't say. <laughs> yeah, you know what Fish Eyes is like with lawsuits. Correct me if I'm wrong, I could be wrong here, but didn't Fish Eyes in an interview say that Anthony Yard's next opponent would be somebody from the top 15 in the WBO, at light heavyweight. Didn't he say that? Well, I'm looking at the top 15 WBO rankings right now. The, I believe these are, yeah, these are the July rankings. I know we're in August, but the WBO haven't updated their site to put the August date, uh, the August rankings on there yet. So we've got the top 15 for July. And this guy doesn't appear anywhere. Ryan Ford is not anywhere in the top 15 of the WBO at light heavyweight. Nowhere. So, again, correct me if I'm wrong, but Fish has said he'd put Anthony Yard in with someone in the top 15 of the WBO. Some people are saying that Fish has actually said he'd put Yard in with someone above him, ranked above him in the top 15 of the WBO. Well, that's never going to happen. <laughs> that was never going to happen. But, yeah... I mean, in my opinion, anyway, I don't think that was ever going to happen. So let me know what you think about this, people. And you have to look at what Eddie Hearn said in an interview, to be honest, where Eddie Hearn said that he offered, well, actually, the, the fight was going to go to purse bids in terms of the, the title eliminator between Yard and Burton. It was going to go to purse bids. Eddie Hearn, before it even got to bids, in an IFL interview, offered Anthony Yard 100 grand to fight Jose Burton. You have to imagine that he is getting nowhere near 100 grand to fight this Ryan Ford guy at the Copper Box. Nowhere near that. But at the end of the day, one thing I can say about Fish Eyes is that he has a good track record of being able to guide fighters and pick the right fights for them at the right time. He is a good boxing manager, Fish Eyes. I'm telling you, he's, he's good. Look at what he did with Billy Joe Saunders. I know he's had issues in terms of how he's managed Billy Joe Saunders as a champion, but getting Billy Joe Saunders to the title was almost flawless from Frank Warren. Now, Billy Joe Saunders is a totally different type of fighter than... Anthony Yard in the sense that Billy Joel was an Olympian. He had a vast amateur background. Anthony Yard don't have that. And Frank Warren knows that. He knows what he's got in Anthony Yard and he knows he's going to have to pick the right fights at the right time. And he's not just doing it with by himself. He's also involving uh, Tunde Ajayi. Now, Tunde is the trainer of Anthony Yard. I'm not sure. He might be the manager as well. But between Tunde and Frank Warren, I'm sure that's how they're picking the opponents. So, yeah, Frank Warren's got a good track record. He picks the right guys at the right time. For whatever reason, he don't think Jose Burton is the right guy for Anthony Yard right now. I guess him and Tunde, they're like, nah, not Jose Burton. Even though there's a shed load of money on the table for that fight, for some reason, they don't want it. Maybe it's a case of styles make fights. But they were interested in the Frank Bullioni fight. But Bullioni and his team, they weren't interested in the fight. So you had a strange situation where Bullioni and his team, or at least his team, don't want the yard fight, oddly, even though it's, you know, a lot of money on the table for that. But then the guy that Bullioni just beat, Burton, he wants it, and Yard don't want a fight. <laughs> weird situation, man. Weird, weird situation. So anyway, let me know what you think of this, people. Is this a, a decent enough step up for Anthony Yard fighting this Ryan Ford character? Or are you disappointed? Uh, me personally, I can understand them putting him in with somebody like this. But from Bullioni to this guy is a step down. 
it seemed like a big step down. So that's the thing. When, when you get people's expectations up, I mean, Fish Eyes was talking about, again, correct me if I'm wrong, putting Yard in with somebody in the WBO top 15. So to go from expecting that to him fighting Ryan Ford, it's like, wow, really? You sold us a dream. <laughs> you know, it, it weren't true. Anyway, let me know how you feel about this, people. It's happening, I'm out.